13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Happy Friday to you. I'm Ross Dimitri right now with your 13 Action News Update. Now, despite being voluntarily recalled over a week ago over concerns that it could cause liver sickness, the FDA is warning real water products are still being sold online. Real Water Inc. is being investigated by the FDA, the CDC, and the Southern Nevada Health District after its products were linked to five cases of acute hepatitis here in Southern Nevada. All five of those patients were hospitalized after they reported drinking Real Water brand alkaline water. They have all since recovered. As recently as two days ago, the FDA said Real Water was still being sold online. The FDA is conducting an audit to find out how effective that recall really was. The FDA is urging everyone not to use Real Water. Las Vegas is bracing for a busy Easter weekend with big crowds expected to visit the valley. And the CDC now says people who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 can now travel within the U.S. without getting a test or going into quarantine. It adds that masks and social distancing should still be maintained. The Pavilion Center pool in the West Valley is officially back open. The renovated venue holding a ribbon cutting this afternoon. And if you're looking for some 21 and up fun, Dre's Beach has also reopened. They had a long pause due to the pandemic, but the rooftop pool is ready for your cabana and bottle service needs. And perfect timing for those pools to reopen with the very warm weekend we had have ahead of us. The first 90 degree temperatures since last October expected tomorrow and Easter Sunday. The rest of your Friday night, fantastic 80s until about 9 o'clock tonight under a clear sky with calm wind. Our lows fall to the 60s ahead of sunrise Saturday with plenty of sun in the forecast tomorrow. Forecast high of 91 degrees that's expected to tie or potentially break the daily high temperature record with highs holding near 91 for Easter Sunday. We do cool down a little bit next week, but Overall, the next seven days, we stay a bit above the seasonal average. Thank you, Danny. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.